Utah Republican Governor Spencer Cox not very happy after his majority Republican legislature has overridden one of his vetoes on a bill that has a lot of people talking. What is it? We're going to get into all the details and much more in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. Also, guys, if you could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do. I am demonetized on YT. They don't support me in any way. But if you guys enjoy my daily content here, talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines, and you would like to help support, you can do that on PayPal. That link is down below. Or you can sign up on the Patreon. When you do that, you get access to my bonus content. It also includes the links for the YT videos, so you get alerted every time new content arrives, because YT doesn't do that anymore. Plus, you can leave your comments there 100% censorship-free behind the paywall without having to worry about any foolery from YT blocking or moving what you're saying. You can send me direct messages. And then don't forget, I'm also on Rumble. These videos go up there as well. That's kind of a backup in case I get the boot from YT. Check it all out. All the links down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity. Greatly appreciated. Now, the Utah Republican legislature had passed a bill earlier in the month that would, you know, ban the, we're going to call them the Bender Boys, the Bender Boys from being able to play on the girls' sports teams. And, well, despite that passing, this got a veto, a veto, that's right, from none other than Utah Governor Spencer Cox is rhino self, because he has, in fact, exposed himself as a rhino. Now, when he vetoed the bill, he said that he did this because of the fact that there were, according to him, only four Bender boys in the entire state that wanted to play on the girls' team. And he said that he did not want to contribute to the amount of young people who were ending themselves over their struggle as a Bender. So he added it all in. He wrote this all in his veto letter. We talked about at the time in the video that I did that there was a possibility of an override. And that led us to Friday, March 25th. A vote was done. The House and the Senate. Overwhelmingly, 56 to 18 in the House and 21 to 8 in the Senate to override this veto. Now making it law in the state of Utah. Bender boys not allowed to play on the girls' teams. So... What they initially wanted here was a commission. This was supposed to be a compromise of sorts from Utah Governor Spencer Cox that he would protect female athletes and sports, but by still allowing for inclusivity and all of this and the Bender boys to play, but he would create this commission that would include on it medical professionals, whatever that means, along with uh, experts in sports and athletics, and they would collectively come together and make a decision as to whether or not a bender boy could play on the girls' team or not. So that, you know, was wiped away. The Republican letter said, nah, you know what? We're going to go all the way with this thing. We're going to protect the girls. So there is now an additional clause with this bill that will now state that if there are uh, any sort of, you know, an overturn by a judge, if they block it, anything like that, and they can't, you know, defeat it with an appeal, something like that, then the commission would automatically be reinstituted. Spencer Cox tried to say that this whole thing would be, you know, held up in litigation and, you know, it would just cost the state all this money. Again, just using excuses and proving that he is a rhino. So uh, not only would the commission go back into effect if for some reason a judge had permanently blocked this or determined it to be unconstitutional, crazy as that is, but uh, another provision here would exempt all schools from any sort of financial penalties from being sued. So what they're doing is that they're taking out $500,000, apparently, uh, at least, will go to any school to help their legal fees if they are, in fact, sued uh, by any Bender boy that wants to play on a girl's team. And the ACLU, for their part, has already come out and said that they are definitely going to sue. So we will see where this all goes with litigation if, in fact, they do block this or if it's allowed to go through because we have seen so many states now. I believe Utah, I think it's the 12th or 13th state now to do this. Uh, we also know that Indiana 
Republican Rhino Governor Eric Holcomb had vetoed as well a similar bill. So we'll see if there's an override done there. But the Rhinos are being exposed now for who they are. They're playing politics. They're trying to curry favor from the left and all that. Look, they're, <laughs> they've outed themselves, let's just say. Uh, good on these Republican legislatures who had the courage to do what was necessary. Uh, despite how this ends up and if it's blocked or whatever the case may be, God will look down upon those individuals who made the right decision according to his word. And that will not be forgotten. These people will be rewarded when they get to heaven for what they've done uh, to protect his foundation, what he founded from the very beginning. Something very important to note there. But we know that as we continue to go on here in the last days, this sort of thing is going to continue to happen. We're going to see more of an undoing, really, of God's creation from these people. You have to be prepared for it. Uh, the best way you can, you know, can be prepared is by having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And this is something that we offer on all of our videos here, giving people that option to receive Christ as our Lord and Savior. In fact, if that's you, if you're watching this video right now and you've yet to do that, I'd love to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, it's to acknowledge that you are a sinner. Now, that is something that we all are, but the good news is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. Now, what you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from these lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he wipes that sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.